Hello makeup lover and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already been here before. If so, I'm so happy to see you again. If not, my name is Meline. I'm a Danish makeup artist living in Barcelona in Spain. And for today's look, I pulled out my mothership, the La Vie en Rose from Pat McGrath's The Six Pan. I know it's discontinued, but um, if you really want it, it's not impossible to get it. I've seen it several places um, for sale and uh, I got to after it was sold out on the Pat McGrath website. So it's not impossible if you like it, of course. So if you want to see how I did these two different very colorful purple looks, please hang in there and I will show you. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. And uh, if you like videos like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's go ahead and do some makeup, shall we? I am using one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and I'm not going to show it to you, uh, even though I actually have a backup I could show you that's completely new. But uh, the one I'm using is a little bit smashed uh, when it comes to the gold color. So uh, I'm just going to put in a photo so you can see what it looks like. Pretty, huh? Now let's do some makeup. I dip my refer number three into the purple rain, the most gorgeous purple color of all, if you ask me. I am putting that on my, sorry, <laughs> on my uh, lower lash line. And I'm going to start like this, going upwards. I'm going to put on a little bit more. I really want this color to be very powerful. Like so. Same color, same brush. I'm going to put it into the upper eyelid here, my mobile eyelid. So we sort of like have like a very uh, thick winged liner going on here or prolonging of the eye so to speak. I dip my refer number 15 into the color paranormal. It's a dusty kind of purpley shade and I'm just putting it on here using it as my transition shade. It's a matte color whereas the purple color is metallic. Same brush now with the Rose Risqué, the pinky color. As you can see, because of the wrinkles I have, I now have some stripes here. So I'm just going to try and blend them out. I brushed off the color from the brush and uh, I'm just going to try to erase the border here. Now that's better. I'm going to go into the purple rain again now this time with a reference number 14 and I'm going to start from the outer corner here where I ended the eyeliner and then I'm going to put it in my crease and blend it upwards. Brushed off the color from my reference number 14 and dipped that into the color Euphoria. I'm going to pinch the brush a little bit and I'm going to put it on the border here where the purple rain is to blend that out. Same 
same brush same color now i'm gonna go into this part of the eye and now just mixing it into the purple ring I feel like the pink risque almost is completely gone so I put it on my reference number two I'm just gonna put it on the border up here and then I'm gonna brush off my brush and mix it into a look here so it's back on I'm now going to use my intensifiers and uh, I'm just going to put it here on the mobile eyelid all the way from the inner corner and into the colors we have here. I just, I'm, I'm just putting it on to make the next colors really be very powerful. Like so. I put on some pale fire on my reference number 21 and I'm going to start by using that under my brows here as the highlighter. I'm also going to put the pale fire on the mobile eyelid where I put the intensifiers to intensify the color. I'm just stamping it on. I need a little bit more. Back with some more Pale Fire. And it really comes to life here when you put it on top of the intensifiers. Pulled out my reference number three again with some purple rain and this time I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my waterline. Dip my reference number three into my completely broken and shattered shadow uh, called Gold Nectar and I'm going to use that as an inner corner highlight here. Curled my lashes a bit, did some tight lining with a black eyeliner and put on some mascara. This is what we have so far. I'm now going to go off cam and put some false lashes on. Here is the first look with some eyelashes on. I know it looks a little bit weird when I don't have any makeup on in my face but you will see that later on when I'm done with the second eye. Now let's go ahead and do the second eye look with the same palette. I'm going to start by uh, putting on some pale fire under my brow bone. No, on my brow bone under my eyebrows to use that as a highlighter. Now for some purple rain, the awesome dark purple color with the same brush and uh, I'm just gonna put it on all of the mobile eyelid here up to the crease. I am stamping it on I'm going to use some more of the same color and I'm still stamping it on. I really want this color to be very concentrated on my eyelid because I'm doing a purple smoky eye. And I'm just going to go up to the crease and into the crease here with the color like so. Same brush, no extra color, but I'm just going to stamp it here on the border so it comes up a little bit over the crease. So you will actually be able to see it when I have my eye open. 
I dipped my reference number 26 into some Euphoria and I'm going to use that as an eyeliner on my lower eyelid here. Close to the lash line. And I'm just going to blend it out. I don't want this to be heavy at all. Now I'm taking a refer number 13 with no color at all. You can see here, no color. And I'm just going to use that to blend the edges here of the purple rain. I'm going to do a gold eyeliner and to do that I pull out my Morphe E38, dipped it into some Miron liquid and uh, into the gold nectar. I'm going to turn my head a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. I hope you can see this too. And I'm going to do a liner. I mixed it on my hand so I'm dipping it into my hand dipping into it on my hand. Sorry. Sometimes it feels like I totally uh, lose my ability to speak when I'm doing videos and concentrating. It's horrible. Horrible. This is what we have so far. I put a little bit of uh, mascara on and did some tight lining on the upper waterline. Now I dip my reference number three into the pale fire and I'm gonna use that as a highlighter. I'm just gonna put it on right here in the inner corner. Like so. I'm going to go off cam and put some uh, false lashes on. And here you see the final result of the second eye look. I am now going to go off cam and put some makeup on in my face. So you can actually see what it looks like with a full face of makeup. Here you have it. The two final looks with a full face of makeup. On my cheeks, I put on the Divine Blush in the color Nymphette. Uh, and on top of that, I used the Highlighting Trio. And I mixed the pink and the gold color to, um, to get this highlighter. On my lips, I put on some uh, Lust Gloss in the color Divine Rose. Just to give it a little bit of uh, a rosy tone but not too much because there was so much going on on the eyes. I'm now going to put on my glasses so you can see the look with glasses on. This is what it looks like. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. If you like videos like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Now, all that is left for me to say is Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye. Mwah.